On April 4, 2010, an American graduate student studying business in Poland was hospitalized in Warsaw. Three days later, his mother transversed the Atlantic to bring him to his home in New Orleans. He was admitted to two different hospitals in two different states. Today, his condition has been in remission for nine years. That graduate student is me. I'm Thomas Krauss, a first year Master of Healthcare Informatics student concentrating in data science. Several years after my initial hospitalization, I wanted to become a nurse. I thought it was the best way that I could get back. So I volunteered at University Medical Center in New Orleans and its inpatient behavioral health unit. There I encountered several patients who were not as fortunate as I was. They were on Medicaid or Medicare insurance. They were admitted, treated, and stayed about a week. But they were discharged only to re return about a week later. Physicians called these patients frequent flyers due to the high number of visits they had during the year. What prevented me from becoming a frequent flyer? My friends, my family. I was blessed to be born into a family that loved and supported me during the darkest of times. My friends on my rugby team, the rugby team that I created, the first gay and inclusive rugby team in Louisiana. I learned from them that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a mark of strength. I was blessed to have them as a support system on and off the field. But I began to wonder how might a healthcare system look for those that did not have such a support system. At that moment, I realized that I wanted to address healthcare issues at a systems perspective, rather than direct clinical care as a nurse. I wanted to create a more integrated, data-driven, equitable healthcare system. But in order to change the system, I first needed to understand it. The Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services became one of my best friends, and I learned a lot of good lessons. The first one is that value-based care is here to stay. That means that we must obtain better health outcomes at a population level a better experience for patients inclusive of quality and care, lower costs, and helping physicians continue to find joy at work so that they avoid burnout. The second lesson is that frequent flyers account for only 5% of the population, but they count for a whopping 50% of total healthcare costs. The third lesson, that healthcare outcomes are driven by 20% of medical care, but a whopping 80% of social determinants of health. Social determinants of health include access to housing, access to transportation, and access to healthy food. I'm also collaborating with Dr. Karen Deep Singh to build predictive models to identify frequent flyers using social determinants of health and readmissions data. These models will inform decision makers on how to better integrate behavioral health, and primary care services. This summer, I'm searching for an internship where I can continue to build my healthcare data science skills. If I can be of service to your organization and bring joy to your work, let's talk. I'm Thomas Krauss, a Master's of Healthcare Informatics student specializing in data science. Thank you and go blue.